Hello, um, we're here at Max Medical Robotic Hair Transplant Clinic in Fort Lauderdale with Larry. He came for his follow-up visit. He had his procedure yesterday. Of course, it was a robotic hair um, a transportation procedure. We uh, also did a robotic site making. That means we created hair sites and the hairline robotically as well. How did it go so far? How do you feel? I, I feel great. Uh, I was a little more concerned the day before, a, a little nervous, but uh, the day of everything was uh, was great. I mean, the, the staff is very pleasant, very professional. I was I was very happy. Okay, and um, what what made you choose robotic uh, procedures? Versus? Well, I, I interviewed a few uh, doctors and uh, when I came here, I, I felt that this office was the most professional and uh, you were very nice, your staff was, was great, and uh, I, so I decided. And plus a neighbor of mine did it also, and he was very happy, so I, I chose Maxim. Thank you, yeah, uh, that's, I'm really glad to hear that. <laughs> okay, and uh, I was also really, no, I, the day of the uh, uh, procedure, a little bit of a little bit of pain, not much, but today nothing. You know, I mean, really. So I'm very happy. Yes, and um, Larry just came back from hyperbaric treatment, so we uh, we included uh, with recommendation to have one. It actually helps with it. Oh yeah. To facilitate the healing, and the most important helps with the graft uh, survival. Because we, we aim it at 100% and we typically that's what we get. We get about 100% graft survival of the, of the procedure. Uh, his uh, uh, sites again were made with the robot yesterday. And actually, I'm sorry, we did it in two days. Okay. And the reason we split it not for, obviously it's, not, it's less convenient for us to do a two day procedure but it's, it's better for the results because when we split it in two days, uh, the body will attempt to heal the sites and release all the growth factors. So when we plant the grafts into a pre-made uh, site, they typically, uh, um, there is less, uh, less time for them to start growing back. Uh, and uh, Larry, uh, do you have any discomfort in no, the area? I, I thought I, I would, but not, not really, no. <laughs> so, I've taken uh, one, uh, actually two Tylenol with codeine. Well, one the first day and, mm -hmm. and one yesterday, but I really didn't need it yesterday. I just took it as a precaution. Right. You know? and, and, we talk, uh, and we're talking just uh, less than 24 hours after his, his procedure, yeah. so he doesn't need any pain medication this time. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really... Uh, Surprised. <laughs> so I know you retired, but let's say if you are working, would you be able to theoretically go back to work if you cover your head? If yes, if you if you cover, it, it, I, yes. it might be a little embarrassing <laughs> going to work. It depends what kind of work you do. Right. But uh, definitely, if you wait two three days, I would imagine if you had it done on a Wednesday, by Monday for sure, you go back to work with no with no issue. You know. Okay. Or, or even sooner, but uh, I mean, uh, personally, I would, uh, working in an office environment, I probably would wait a few days. Mm -hmm. Okay, and another uh, important part of the procedure, with, uh, with the robotic, you can actually see how many grafts we're getting, because everything on the screen. Mm -hmm. What you're doing, just to elevate your head, take a look at the screen and see the amount of grafts. Yeah, you want, oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, I had 18, 1,800 grafts, I believe. Right. right, correct, 1800. That is correct. Okay, we'll keep you updated with uh, learning progress. We're going to see him in a couple months for a scheduled uh, PRP treatment. Mm -hmm. We include with every procedure, we include two more treatments. Um, this patient come back and we, we can uh, see the progress and take more pictures. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.